a certain type of personality wants a taste for adventure. Mm -hmm. You go out and have the adventure. And then there are these ups and downs. And then you crash. You will have a failure. If you're adventurous mm. and you're pushing the limits, you will have a failure. And that failure can be a transformative experience. I have an expression that pain plus reflection equals progress. Mm. So they call it the, the abyss. And change, the learning of humility to maintain your aggressiveness, your audacity, and to simultaneously learn humility. And that happened to me. So I, you, you described it. I was, uh, I graduated uh, from school. I, I worked on Wall Street for two years. I got fired from my job. And two years later, I'm running my little company. Something like seven, eight years after that, I made terrible mistakes in the markets. Um, I crashed and I uh, lost everything. And I was so broke that I had to borrow $4,000 from my dad to help pay for my family expenses. And it was public, publicly because I was on Wall Street Week and I made all those mistakes. And that was one of the most painful. Pain can be great because it changed my whole perspective to decision making. As I'm saying, it gave me the humility I needed to operate with my audacity. In other words, to simultaneously be bold and aggressive and also to know that I could be careful. You know, I, I learned that if you're doing risky things, anybody who does risky things, tightrope walk across buildings or whatever, it's that they also know how to deal with the risks well. So how to be bold and then to learn from the failures. And it changed my whole approach to failure. I began to think of uh, failures like puzzles that if I could solve the puzzle, I'd get a gem. And the puzzle was, what would I do differently in the future? And the gem I would get would be a principle of how I would deal with the future differently. So understanding that if you press the limits, you're going to fail and it's okay. And life is a long journey. Failure has a, a tone to it that it sounds like it's an end. No, it's part of that process of learning and then making that great advance. But the humility combined with the audacity was helpful because then I would go to try to find the smartest people I could find who disagreed with me, mm, that in yes. independent thinking. And I would also know how to deal with my risks better. So I kept my upside without losing my downside. Failure and pain, if you look at the second order effects, if you make the most of them, they're the most valuable.